If you listen a while, I'll sing you a song of this glorious land of the free. And the difference between the rich and the poor in a trial by jury you'll see. If you've plenty of money, you can hold up your head and walk out from your own prison door. But they'll hang you up high if you've no friend at all. Let the rich go, but hang up the poor. I think of a man now dead in his grave, a good man as ever was born. Jim Fisk, he was called, and his money he sent to the poor and the outcast forlorn. We all know he loved both women and wine, but his heart was quite right, I am sure. He lived like a prince in his palace so fine, but he never went back on the poor. If a man was in trouble, Fisk helped him along to drive the grim wolf from his door. He strove to do right, though he may have done wrong, but he never went back on the poor. Jim Fisk was a man, wore his heart on his sleeve, no matter what people might say. He did all his deeds, both the good and the bad, by the broad open light of the day. With his grand six in hand at the beach at Long Branch, he cut a big dash to be sure. But Chicago's great fire showed the world that Jim Fisk, with his money, remembered the poor. When the telegram came that the homeless that night were starving to death slow but sure, t'was the lightning express man by noble Jim Fisk to feed all the hungry and poor. Now what do you think of the trial of that Stokes who murdered this friend of the poor? If such men get free, is there anyone safe to step from outside their own door? Is there one law for the rich and one for the poor? It seems so, at least so I say. If you hang up the poor, why hadn't the rich ought to swing up the very same way? Don't show any favor to friend or to foe, to beggar or prince at your door. The big millionaire they must hang up also, but never go back on the poor. Don't show any favor to friend or to foe, to beggar or prince at your door. The big millionaire they must hang up also, but never go back on the poor.